Sam Landy here with UMH Property. Sam, good to see you today. Good to see you, Brad. Good to be here. Great. Sam, um, UMH Properties is in a unique sector, uh, the modular housing sector, and uh, some people refer to that sector as the mobile home sector, um, but I know you're not mobile home, so could you explain to us the difference between a mobile home and a modular home? Sure. If anyone looked today at the, at the communities we've built, at the product the manufacturers are building, they'd be hard pressed to call them mobile homes. Uh, all of the houses that we sell are built to the HUD code. A modular is generally built to the BOCA code, which is a local building code. But our, our homes are manufactured to the HUD code. People, when people refer to mobile homes, they're thinking of the houses built in the 60s, 70s, 80s. And we're buying manufactured home communities, many of which have those homes. But we're upgrading to the much newer houses. When people see this new product, they do not identify them as mobile homes. They're certainly not trailers. These are very high quality houses. Uh, they're they're going to last as long as a conventional home. And the consumer acceptance of this product up until the recession was going very well. Sure. Well, I know you mentioned high quality. Uh, Warren Buffett invested in the modular home business. Is that correct? Can you tell us a little bit about what Buffett's participation in that, in that sure, industry? Sure. Well, Warren Buffett bought Clayton Homes. And, you know, to really understand this business, Jim Clayton wrote a book, First a Dream, which covers the whole history of the industry. And it covers how in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, shipments were over 200,000 per year. And it's only uh, the, the government policies trying to increase conventional home ownership and then the jobs recession that resulted in shipments falling from 200,000 per year to just 50,000 per year. So Warren Buffett knows what he's doing getting in this business. Sure. Now you operate in a regional le regional uh, geography. Uh, tell us a little bit about your platform and where are you investing in your properties today? Sure. We're um, investing in the Marcellus Shale region, which is Pennsylvania, Ohio. We're also investing in the Nashville, Tennessee area and Indiana, places where manufacturing can come back. And that, you know, my father started the company in 1969. We know the industry. and. Our product is workforce housing, and the Marcellus Shale area, that's going to generate a substantial number of jobs. Manufacturing coming back because of the energy costs is going to generate substantial jobs, and that's where we want to be. And, and the workforce will accept our product. Shipments can go well over 200000 per year, and we want to own the land and the sites in those areas. Well, let's talk about the land and the sites. Now, you're a REIT, so REITs by law have to rent out a certain uh, majority of their real estate. So you have rental income, but you also have sales and finance income. Can you talk about that? Sure. Um, I, th I think that, you know, our company as a REIT, it, 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 we're in the finest position to really uh, benefit from the com curring, com coming jobs boom and what's, what's going to occur. When I refer to the jobs boom, I'm referring to a book called Comeback pertaining to the Marcellus Shale. And the Marcellus Shale is going to bring substantial jobs and substantial wealth to Pennsylvania, Ohio, and the areas where they're drilling. Uh, we're make, we were in these areas when they were coal and steel areas. These communities that we owned in the past were virtually 100 percent occupied. We made money on sales. We made money financing homes. Uh, and we lost those jobs through NAFTA 1999. The jobs started going overseas. We lost the coal and the steel jobs. As these things come back, UMH has the ability to sell homes and earn a profit on sales. We've got about five highway locations to open retail centers to sell homes. We have financed over $22 million in loans during the bad times and have still done well with our paper. So in the good times, we can generate 8% you know, loans, we can generate sales profits, and we can generate lot rent. So we have the experience. We've sold almost 3,000 homes in our history. and. Uh, when, when, when people, shipments are down to 50000 per year, as shipments and jobs come back, UMH can make money on sales. And, and in the restructure, you know, we make our rental income. We have to pay out 90% of funds from operation to our shareholders in the dividend. But it's a, it's, you know, they change the REIT laws so you can have uh, taxable REIT subsidiaries. So our sales and finance companies are taxable REIT subsidiaries. So we get the both best of all worlds. Sure. Well, let's talk about real quickly the dividend. You're paying a 7% dividend. Um, how safe is that dividend? Well, uh, I believe that we, we got through all the bad years. Uh, in the peak, we sold $16 million worth of homes and made $2 million. 
Uh, the dividend was a dollar a share at the, at the commencement of the recession. We recognized the problems and reduced the dividend to 72 cents. We're, we're growing through acquisitions that we believe have positive yield spread. Uh, you know, we're buying properties at an 8% cap. Our average cost of funds is, you know, 4%. So we, we see the positive swing. Uh, there's plenty of reason to believe FFO will increase. Um, you know, you can never speculate. We once lost a community through a flood, but we believe if sales income increases, if finance income increases, occupancy through our rental units has been increasing substantially over 200 units last year and we believe 200 units this year. So, you know, the preferred stock that we issued, 100 million in preferred for the purpose of acquiring approximately 200 million in communities, uh, this can, the, the, the gains from the income from the properties, this is all going to go to the common shareholder. So the commons got a lot of upside. Sure. Well, Sam, thanks so much for, for joining us today. Uh, we learned a lot about UMH.